here, YouTube. We're back again for another episode of Thoughts from the Corner. I'm here with my good friend Lucy. Hi. And we have a throwback episode today. We're going to be doing some of these from time to time, letting you know if a game has stood up to the test of time. And today we're checking out Zolkin, the Mayan calendar from CGE. Two to four players, ages 12 plus, take about 90 minutes to play. And in Zolkin, this, if you did not know about it, is what's called a rondelle game. And what does that mean? That means you're going to have these big stinking honking gears here, it's which are going so to... Long. All, took yeah, us so to, long. It, it did take us maybe 10, 15 minutes, mostly because of my incompetence. But a lot of our, it just, there's a whole gang of incompetence. It doesn't even go that way. Yeah, but. well, either way, you're, you're going to see that all oh, there's, there's, I believe, five of these different things, and they will all connect together, and as you turn them, your workers, which you're going to be placing on there, will be moving along there. So while you might want to pull something off, because when you pull them off, you're going to gain the resources, the longer you let them sit on the rondelle, the better stuff you're going to get. Uh, there also is a feed your people mechanism in this, uh, because you're going to have to have corn, which, as Lucy would like to tell you, is money, money. and it, it is money in this game. But you also are going to feed your people with it. Uh, you'll use it to place your workers out. You There's going to be a couple tracks. Um... Really, it boils down to, do you want to take crystal skulls and put them on something that are just going to get you straight points? Do you want to build buildings, which are going to do a whole wide variety of things? Maybe it'll make it easier to feature people. Maybe it'll let you move up tracks. Do you want to move up these tracks, which are going to make you feel like a superhero because you're going to be getting all these special abilities, which is what you were doing? Um, do you want to go up different tracks, which are going to allow you to gain some resources and score some points? There's different branching paths you can take in the game, all the while, while it looks like it's going to be very complex, it's actually incredibly simple. The game plays really simple, just the choices you have to make are very complex. Yes. Like, all you're going to do on your turn, you're either going to put your workers or you're going to take them off and get the resources. Literally, that is it. And the some issue, of your turns will yeah. last, like, oh, put it out, I'm broke, done. Yeah. Like, it's ten seconds. Um, what were you going to say, the issue... Oh, yeah, I mean, like, the thing is just, like, also, like, just the issue is, like, putting meeples on cost money. The more you put on, the more you have to get. And then taking them off, like, it could be the wrong time. Or, like, uh, you could just be stuck doing whatever you can. And it's, ugh. It's a lot. It's a lot to think about. It it can be, yeah. There There's a lot going on. There's there's not a lot going on, but there's just a lot that... A lot of choices that could potentially be made. That's the issue. And but, then just, like, keeping track of, like, how the mind calendar is going to go. Because, like, there's also, like, this mechanic where you can take first player, and when you take first player, essentially essentially once per game, there's ways to get around it. But you get to move the calendar twice instead of just once. Now, this is big because it moves the rondelle, the, moves the workers twice, but it also speeds up the game. Yes, it also gets has the end of the game coming faster. Yes, which uh, which I really do like because if you're you're up high in points, you might be like, well, hell, I don't care. I just want to bump this thing up twice. So we gave you a brief summary. Zolkin, my encounter. Mm -hmm. This is your first time playing it. It's my second time yeah. playing it. What did you think? I liked it a lot. Like with work, I love worker placements in general. Like I've yet to be a bad one yet. I'm trying to think back, but nope. And this one just like ticks all the boxes. Like every choice you make is important, something to think about. You can yeah. work towards different goals, and it'll get you all points. I would say probably like the worst part about it is that you can't really go for you can't go for everything. Don't try to go for everything. Whatever you choose, you kind of had to stick to it. Mm -hmm. I, I had to go through. I had to do like a, like when yeah. I tried to diversify. It was it was tough. I did not get there was a <laughs> there was a big stretch. But I did like it a lot. I will say this also, like, if you don't know what you're doing, like, because those first, because uh, in the beginning you're allowed to have, like, you're allowed to choose out of four possible bonuses, you got to choose two of them. Oh, yeah. And that can determine a lot also. Yeah, this is one where you probably want to pay, play with people who are on about even playing ground, but I don't yeah. think it's it's terrible. But they, terrible. they are going to have, they are going to be getting a little bit early on the jump there. Um do you feel, so this is one thing that I already know the answer to, but do you feel like this stands up the test of time? Because obviously this was winning awards back in 2013, oh, yeah. so this is a seven-plus-year-old game. It's so, it's so odd to think about, like, how 2013 is so long ago. Does but it stand up the test of time? It does. I like this a lot. The components are really great. Yeah. Like, those little, like, board, those little gears that turn around are good. Everything, even though it's an older game, it's still colorful, more colorful than a lot of modern games nowadays. No box insert. Do you want to mention that's, that? That's, oh, yeah. That's kind of annoying, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, You're at this point, this, anyway. is, this is like a, a more intermediate game anyway, so most likely you are already at that point 
of your gaming stage where you're buying inserts anyways. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, I honestly think that if you go back, like if you've never played this and you go back and revisit this, if you like worker placements, uh, I think you're probably going to enjoy this because I think it absolutely stands the test of time. I probably got to play it about three or four years ago, uh, two players, and I loved it then, so I was very excited when CG was like, hey, do you want to check out some of our older games? It's like, yeah, Zulkin, please. Um, and it still does stand the test of time. And one of my favorite aspects about this game, and this one I really want to focus in on, because as you can see, I have a huge plethora of games. And if I wanted to go back and grab some of these games, I might spend 15, 20, 25 minutes reading the rules. This one, the mechanisms are so simple in the game that I think with just a quick little refresher, and maybe uh, I would like to print off a cheat sheet. Yes. Uh, because the rules the rules are well done, and the the, the, the How to Play video uh, by Paul Grogan, I absolutely would recommend. I think he did a great job on that 20 oh, minutes, yeah. and he covered... I don't think there was anything we had to really look up more than... Mm -mm. No, mainly just specifics and just like technicalities. Yeah. That, I, I don't expect that in like a How to Play game. Yes, but this is one of those games you could put on your shelf, and I feel like you're going to get it... Yeah played because you're knowing to you're going to know the general and you're going to be like oh it's super simple are, guys. yeah that's that's the issue that's the great part about this like the mechanics are simple the physical mechanics are simple you are either putting down or taking off yeah when you take off you get the resources when you're putting down you have to pay resources it's just the decisions of like what those do for you in the long run that's what's the most complicated part but i would look at cheat sheet yeah yep um, the other thing that I want to mention is this has a good, re really great table appeal. You mentioned the components, but it just looks cool when it's up and running. And if someone hasn't seen this going and you're like in between turns and you're like turning things, they're going to be like, whoa, what's oh, yeah. that? And, and then like, they might sit there for a second and be like, oh, wait, so if you wait till here, it's going to do that. Overall, I think we both really enjoyed this. Oh yeah. Um, we played a three player version. Uh, we played a three player, three player game of it. We all really enjoyed the game. This one's going into my collection. Uh, I, I have a feeling it's going to be there for quite some time, and I really want to check out the expansion now, too. Uh, I, I, I'm chomping at the bits to try that. I'll give your own asymmetrical special abilities, and... Um, yeah, that'd be really nice. Very cool game. Has withstood the test of time. Check yeah. this one out, especially if you like worker placement games. Yeah. Definite recommendation. That is Zulkin, the Mayan mm -hmm. Calendar. If you're enjoying what we're doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the channel, consider supporting the uh, little click on am click on something. Just click on anything. Close your eyes. Click no. something randomly. Hopefully, click the subscribe button. hopefully, yeah. hopefully it supports the channel. You know what? I'm willing to take that gamble. I'm willing to take yeah. that gamble. There's a lot of good stuff you click on. One bad thing, I'll take the risk. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below. Zolkin, have you played it? What do you think? Do you think it still stands the test of time? Uh, Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a question at the end. That was the question. What? Oh, you want no, another Zulkin? question? Fine, ask another know. question. I don't know. Go God. for it. No, I'm not turning what? it off. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? What's your favorite uh, movie that Ryan Gosling has starred in? Ooh, Ryan Gosling. But she's looking at the notebook <laughs> poster. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, that's a really good question. I love Ryan Gosling. He's so talented and yeah. he's so dreamy. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, what was that one? Uh, I just remember Eat Crazy Love right now. Never saw that one. Um, what was the one where he was like in love with a blow up doll? That was a really good one. Oof. There was one where he was in space too. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right now the notebook's looking pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the one. Uh, I think it's the Secret Life of Lars, maybe or something like that. Oh yeah. Have you ever seen it? No. Yeah, I just I, that sounded like an oh yeah. <laughs> Over my head. So you just asked the question you didn't have an answer for. Well, I mean, my Lucy, backup was Notebook, me. and then my other backup was Eat Crazy Love, because I think that had, like... Ryan Gosling? Yeah, it did. Well, there I mean, you go. There. Good money. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. See ya.